these three students that have accompanied us here. Before I introduce them, I would like to thank the International Center for Peace in the Middle East, who allowed this project, who really facilitated this project. They're located in Tel Aviv. The Belgrade Cultural Center and Rex, of course, but especially, especially, less than one year ago, I met Katerina from Rex. One year. You <laughs> the students that participated in this project. <laughs> and the Pranko, who was originally from Russia and from Ashdod for the last six years, seven years. <laughs> Mustafa Hussein, who is from Betsafafa, outside of Jerusalem. <laughs> What's your name, please? Tarek Isa. Uh, I'm from Bethlehem. Uh, can you tell me something about this exhibition? Uh, when these pictures are made, uh, why and uh, with uh, which purpose? Uh, we made we made this picture before one year. Uh, I, I took this picture in, in Bethlehem, where I live, to, re to represent uh, my home. Because uh, the course where uh, we participate in uh, in Jerusalem, uh, the, 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 main, uh, the main topic for this course is home. And uh, we took these pictures to represent our home for the Palestinian side. And uh, the, the purpose of uh, this picture to, uh, is to see the people, uh, how the Palestinian people live in Bethlehem and uh, in the Palestinian area. Because they, maybe they know some uh, stereotype, and this stereotype is it's, it's not the, the reality. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not the uh, exactly thing or the good things. Maybe they know uh, something wrong, and this this picture maybe they maybe can uh, let him to know something, uh, some re reality about the Palestinian side. Who made all these pictures? All the students who participate in this course. All the students. How many of them are yours? Uh, pictures. Yes. Uh, I have two. Uh, one of the one uh, one of them one here and uh, one of them in the other exhibition. Uh, where is your picture here? Which one? It's like here. It's uh, like can you show us? Yeah. Let's go. This is yours. Yes, it's mine. Where is this? In Jerusalem, in Aqsa, in Aqsa Mosque. And these uh, these kids, who are they? They. Uh, they're playing there. No, they uh, they waiting for his uh, parents. His parents pray in, in in the mosque in that some mosque, and they wait for his for his parents. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I think it's great picture. Really. Yeah. Uh, tell me, please, uh, your name. Anna. Where are you from? I'm from Israel. I was born in Russia and. Uh, my parents moved when I was 10, now I live in Israel for the past nine years. Uh, can you tell us something about this exhibition? Well, as I said previously, it was uh, 
a huge learning experience uh, to work with uh, Palestinians, to work with Israeli Arabs, even to work with religious Israelis who were constructing this, this exhibition with me, the students. Um, just uh, it was wonderful to learn how to how to do those works together, and I believe we achieved something if we managed to show you different aspects of uh, each uh, each and every one of us lives just through those glimpses of pictures. And um, I don't know. I'm thinking that uh, it's, it's it's a really good project to implement between different other people, maybe different societies and conflicts. Because working together, you learn you learn to see through somebody else's eyes, and through somebody else's pictures, you learn you learn his own world, and uh, it's wonderful. Tell me, how did people react on this exhibition? Uh, where? Uh, well, uh, in uh, Palestine, for instance. Uh, this exhibition was opened in Gaza, as far as I know. I wasn't, I didn't get a chance to be there at the opening, but I know that I mean, catalogs were published, and people people like the idea of um, having such different um, groups working together for the same aim. Uh, how many of these pictures are yours? Uh, there are two pictures that uh, everybody had to, uh, every one of the participants in the course had to contribute to the exhibition. So one of my pictures is traveling now in the exhibition in Cambridge, and one of them is here, uh, down there. Okay, thanks. All right. I'm before. Okay, so. Uh, actually, I'm trying to be honest with myself and with people for whom I'm showing that. And I don't know what is the best way to do it. Is it documentary film? Is it uh, video? Is it uh, music video? I don't know, but uh, I'm trying. Yeah, you can hear me. Wait, what do you press? Yeah. Do I press something? No, 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 just... Uh, ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're trying a little bit of everything? Like you said, the little bit of musical video, documentary. How yes. Do well, it's it's kind of a strange mixture, mixture because I still don't know what uh, what do I want yeah. in that. I know that my weapon is video camera. That I want to say something with picture and with uh, sound. Uh, so you try. You, oh wait, are you, are you gonna study it afterwards? Uh, for you gonna do uh, how do how do you call it? Communications in university later or something? No, no. I I tried to to enter some video school, but I didn't. Uh, I failed. But uh, I, I I was lucky because I have opportunity to do it with Rex, with Studio B. I have my weapons and. Uh, why do you call it weapons? Weapons. I don't know because in this situation, in this country, you have you just have to have some weapon. And my weapon is video camera. No, but if everybody says, I mean, it's sort of um, I don't know, uh, a, a, a bit violent con uh, concepts. Okay, maybe it's violent. But when I go to Amsterdam to study and to work, then my camera won't be my weapon. Then it will be my uh, tool here. Why? Why this is my weapon? Why can't you have it as a tool here? Because uh, we have war here. War against the uh, people who, who made us to be uh, soldiers. Who are those people? And what? Who are those people who made us soldiers? Uh, you know. No, no, no. Government, uh, regime, system. So do you want to change it? We want to change it. Hello, people. Hello. Uh, this is our guest, an Israel artist, Mustafa Guy. Uh, how do you feel in Belgrade? <laughs> fine. I feel fine. Well, what can I tell you? I've been here uh, something like uh, eight hours, and it's uh, lovely. It's great. Do you see 
uh, do you presume that uh, there is something, uh, th there is a connection between your people and our people, some kind of destiny or uh, uh, fate? I think that uh, we have uh, we have something uh, with each other, but but this th uh, th this thing it's the conflict between the 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 war, the, not the conflict, the war and, and uh, what uh, what happened to you uh, one year ago, and uh, what uh, happened with uh, with. Uh, Israeli and Palestinian guy with uh, the last uh, 15 years. Uh, do you uh, have some motive when you uh, uh, do you have some uh, vision when you uh, uh, when you uh, photograph these people? When you uh, I feel that, uh, that I I Está muito Da 
כל המשתתפים, בתוכם גם אני, יצאנו בהרגשה אופטימית שיש דרך להתקרב לצד השני. האם זה יתברג כציפייה נאיבית?
Najviše volim da putujete, da možete i zašto.
Ulazka u stranu kapitala dolazi do kontrole naših firmi i narod postaje jeftina radna snaga kao zemljama dalekog istoka. Hvala što pratite. 
duhanstvo. Znači mi izbacujemo sljedeće naše linije, a ti sad ti to predstavlja. Biće me da ovaj prezentiramo u tom filmu. Znači, savršenstvo, poradimo sa James Bond, znači moramo sve da metamo. Zdravo, ja sam Jelena. Htjela bih da kažem da ove radionice koje smo radili, da su mnogo uticale na mene. Prvo, mnogo su mi se svidele, nije dosadno, već se kroz igru na neki način naučimo i budemo ne naterani, nego... Zdravo, ja sam Jelena. Mislim da ove radionice su veoma korisne, posebno za decu našeg uzrasta, zato što nam šire vidike i nateraju nas da se razmišljamo o stvarima kojima pre nismo razmišljali ili smo razmišljali, ali ne toliko koliko i sada. Zatim radionice uopšte nisu dosadne, već su veoma interesatne. Kroz igru naučimo mnogo toga i mislim da bi trebalo da bude više ovakve radionice i da se prošire da ne bude samo u okviru naše škole i još ovih škola koje država već da bude u svim školama i da bude na neki način neobavezna za svu decu. Toliko. Ćao, ja sam Dejan. Ove radionice, to je super stvar, majke mi. Ovde možete upoznati različitosti ljudi, suprotnosti, da shvatite ko su, šta su, da se zabavljate, zanimate, sve tabu teme, sve što vam je bilo nepoznato, strano, što niste voljeli, voljeli, ovde ćete da zavolite, da razumete jedne druge, da nađete utočište, dođite u radionicu i sezajte se. Ćao! Zdravo, ja sam Jelena. Članom radionice sam postala sasvim slučajno, a ostala sam član svojom voljom. Ja mislim da ovde ova radionica, odnosno, pruža mogućnost da svako iskaže svoje mišljenje, da sasluša druga mišljenja i onda da tu nađem ono što... Članove radionice sam postala sasvim slučajno, a ostala sam član svojom voljom. Ova radionica pruže dosta mogućnosti, znači da ozvoljavam vam da iskražite vaše mišljenje, da saslušate druga mišljenja i da sami tim poboljšate komunikaciju, međusobnu komunikaciju, to je da upoznate ostale ljude. Bilo bi fino kada bi ova radionica mogla malo duže da traje. Ja mislim da ovih pet sastanaka koje smo proveli i nisu toliko dovoljni koliko ja mislim da bi trebalo da bude. To je sve. Ćao, ja sam Mladen. Ono što želim da kažem jeste da pohvalim ovu radionicu za to što je pomogla sviđa mi se, pomogla mi je da shvatim pre svega neke stvari, da upoznam moje vršnjake kako iz moje škole, tako i iz drugih škola koje praktikuju ovaj rad. Znači toliko, znači hoću samo da pohvalim ovu radionicu i žal mi je zato, žal mi je zbog kratkog trajanja ovog druženja. Ćao. Ćao, jes... Je može? Ups. Ćao, ja sam Ivana i dolazim s pjeti te škole. Ti? E, ja sam Ilica, idem u drugu ekonomsku školu. Reci mi kakav je tvoj prvi utisak u svemu ovome, a i dalje, kako se to ide? Aha, pa ovako, u početku mi se nije dopalo, zato što je... Bile su neke dosadne... Mislim da tako kaže. Možda da mi se kaže, ja ne volim kameru. Ajde ponovo, ne volim. Ćao, ja sam Ivana i dolazim iz pjeti te škola, ima je nova drugarica koja se zove? Milice, dolazim i druge ekonomske škole. Super, možda bi bilo najpametnije da objasnimo kako se mi poznaje. Češ reći ti? Ajde ovako, znači naša škola kao i pjeti te škola i 11. Beogradska gimnazija, znači organizovali su neke psihološke radionice gde bi smo se mi družili, poznavali i razmenjivali svoje mišljenja i tako. Znači imali smo pet sastanaka, ovo je posljednji peti i... Slažem se sa svojim prethodnicima da je to nedovoljno da se upoznamo što bolje može. Da, ali u svakom slučaju je jako lepo. Žela bih da kažem o tome da prvi put kad smo došli, kad je Irena postavila pitanje šta očekujem od radionice, stvarno nisam znala šta očekuje. Međutim, sam prvi utisak je bio jako lep posle prvog sastanka i to se produbljivalo sve više i više posle svakog sastanka i bilo je jako lepo, zanimljivo, jer tu otkrivamo od prilike koliko smo... Koliko ćemo mi biti uspešni u životu, koliko smo slični, znači neke predrasude, zajedničke stvari, mislim, znači jako zanimljivo potežu se neke teme koje mi verovatno svakog dana ne bi potegli, a opet su tako bitne, izgledaju bezazledno, ali ipak su jako bitne za život, ja mislim. I uglavnom poznanstva, druženja, 
Mislim, samo ovaj poslednji sastanak je divan zbog toga što su se sakupile tri škole, znači više ljudi, samo upoznavanje, komunikacija i jako je zanimljivo, meni, bare meni. Mislim da i ostalima. I vole bih da to traje više, znači duže i da ne bude to samo u ove tri škole, nego svuda. Mislim da bi se ljudima naših godina, znači jako to dopalo jer ipak imamo neka slična razmišljanja i tako. Da, da bi, znači da bi što bili komunikativni, originalni i tako. Jednostavno, otkrili smo tome koliko smo mi slični, a opet i koliko različiti, koliko trebamo da popustimo u životu ili pak treba da budemo baš uporni i baš istrajni u nekom razmišljenju i o nekoj boli. i otvarali izložbe fotografija mladih Izraelaca i Palestinaca koje autorka projekta Hali Panser vodi u više raznih ciklusa od 1995. godine kod niza završnica u vidu ovih sličnih izložbi po svetu. Potrebnoći projekt od Documenting Lifestyles koji je među fotografije izrazio višemesečno istraživanje mogućnosti razmjene i uvažavanje različitog mišljenja i identiteta, poželjeli smo da ga s jedne strane predstavimo u našoj publici, ali i da ga s druge strane potrebno razmačati teme o slobodnom iskazivanju i uvažavanju razlika u našoj sredini. Tako je za dva, Radio Ingresu, Radio Televizija, Studio Pej Pančevo, Arte Veliziji, nije ispravljeno vreme, danas je i van čevoc, što su s ovim sredstvima pomogli ovaj projekt. Pozivam vas da pošto večeras budete vidjeli na vrhu, sutra u 19 sati u Likovnoj galeri Kulturnog centra Beograda, budem na učestnik u raškovoru različnika zajedno, u obviru kojih ćete mnogo više zavrnuti o trenu projekta. I will speak very briefly because I know that English is not the native language for most people here. There's a few things I want to say. This was an incredibly difficult project. And what you don't see on the walls 
is the difficulty in bringing these people together. Um, it is a very courageous act to stand before somebody that is labeled an enemy, no matter who that person is. If it is a political enemy, or if it is a family enemy, or even if the enemy is yourself, most often you first must look at yourself before you can look at the other, and that's what this project has been about.